Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I will tell you about my month of January. I will show you some places of Tbilisi. We'll go with you to some events. And uh, let's start with Georgian food. Now I will tell you about the dishes that basically I have been functioning on this month. Let's go. So I took a takeaway took a takeaway now i want to share how georgian cuisine looks this is cheese sulguni for me this cheese is very juicy because it has like some juice especially on the second day <laughs> maybe it's wrong way to do it i also got another cheese emiretian but i didn't like this one because it is very salty for me i think it's good for wine and this is hachapuri this one is Emiratian Hachapuri. It has one kind of cheese. And there is also a Megrelian Hachapuri, which has two kinds of cheese. Also, there is a Jarian Hachapuri, which has uh, an egg in it. So now I will show you what is inside. Yes, the best way to cut it. So this is how it looks like this. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I ordered hinkali with potatoes and it's very unusual because usually hinkali they're like plummy but this one it's very narrow. Georgian people please don't hate me for eating them with potatoes but they're actually good. Yeah it's just like Russian I mean Slavic cuisine vareniki with a potato. Looks like a chicken leg. This is one of the multiple bakeries. Sometimes I buy something here. It's all in Georgian, but what I know is that I need a Labiani or a Maretian Pachapuri, and they are absolutely delicious. I really love them. And also one interesting bun with a pecan. Looks like a Halloween dish. I want to show you something truly Georgian. You know, there are many dogs in Georgia, homeless dogs, and they're literally in the bank. So this is uh, one of the famous TBC banks. And in the lobby, they're like, they're just sleeping there. Just next to the entrance, they're sleeping and people <laughs> don't really care. Cute. And here there's the bank uh, center, so it's like <laughs> really close. Mm -hmm. Not a truly Georgian thing, just a dog in the middle of the mall. Well, we can say that it's cute that these dogs are chipped, they are fed and people don't touch them. I think it's sad still because, well, this is one of the good districts, but what happens in the outskirts of the city? Their dogs are not shipped and they often attack people. So yeah, there are definitely some problems that should be solved. But anyway, it is very unusual to see dogs just everywhere, in the cafes, in the shops, in the banks. It's just funny and cute. I wanted to vlog today, but then I decided that I'm too tired, I will not feel anything. But now I am in a, such a good mood, so I decided why not. And also because here there is a very beautiful view. The mountains, I didn't expect that. I actually went to massage. The masseur was a man from Belarus. After the massage, he gave me green tea and uh, we had a nice conversation. He told me about his story and, uh, you know, it's, it was very unusual for me because I feel that we're like on the same page, I mean, in terms of activism, because he also went to protests, I mean, regarding the regime in Belarus. It was interesting for me. This is the district of Labari. I went here once, but in another part of it. Very unusual covering of the road. Taxi drivers hate it, but it looks very old, beautiful.
wine and cha cha. <coughs> Why not? There is some corner with uh, different goods. Cokes just on the street, fruits. You know, I like aesthetic of such uh, maybe ran down places. Probably I would not buy clothes in such a place, but I don't know, I just like looks authentic. I like the weather today, it's um, probably plus 5 Celsius and I like it because yesterday it was snowing and it was cold. The winter in Belize is really warm compared to Russia, but still, I didn't expect this to snow. These are Orthodox icons. It's so sad that this historical building is destroyed like this. These first two graffitis are spelled in English, but this one is in Russian and it says Piva. Just funny because uh, I would not consider this font nice, but I think this is this, uh, this is, I think it's for purpose. Who is this? Hello. The cat didn't want to appear in this video. My god, I found kvass. I really wanted to find it here in the list because... You know, kvass is a Slavic fermented drink. I didn't even hope to find it here in the list. I don't know if they actually sell it here, probably... No, probably this place doesn't work. Very old Coca-Cola banner. Reading advertisements in Russian. I will rent an apartment or a house. I rent three room apartments. Would you go to such a beauty salon? A friend of mine just messaged me and asked, what are you doing in Avlabari? Apparently he stole me somewhere. It's really dangerous to walk in the Belize from me because everybody recognizes me. And now I'm going to take a taxi and go home. I have a Sims mood lad embarrassing conversation after the driver because he started asking really personal questions. It started as a usual small talk, you know, Georgian drivers sometimes ask me how I like Georgia. He asked where I'm from, I said I'm from Russia, from Khabarovsk. Then he started telling about himself. He said that he knows multiple languages. He studied in Turkey. I don't know why he works in the taxi then. And I just like to practice my skill of small talking, let's call it that. Even though I don't owe a conversation to any driver, but you know, I sometimes am extremely polite with people. Then he asked, do I have a boyfriend? And for me, it was like a normal question. And I forgot that I should not say it like this to taxi drivers. I should have said that, yes, I have a boyfriend. We live in a happy, straight Christian relationships with 105,000 children. I forgot that in this world, to make a man to not bother you, you should say that you have a boyfriend because some men tend to respect another man. 
than a woman. So I should have said that, yes, I have a boyfriend, although I'm a lesbian. But I think that if I said it to him, it would evoke a whole range of new emotions in him. So I didn't even went there. Then he started asking me, do I use Tinder? And I said, no. Then he asked, why you don't use Tinder? Uh, don't you want to have sex? And only then I said, why you ask such personal questions? It's inappropriate. And he was like, come on, I'm not saying anything. Then he went on and said, if we now were in Khabarovsk, you would date me. I said, well, what if I did not want to date you? And he answered, I would do everything so that you... but you know when the conversation became really uncomfortable i could have said something rude to him but i think that if i am in a car with an unfamiliar person who can take me to a wasteland and do whatever they want i am being as polite as i can and just take me home and and leave me alone i have taken like 100 taxis in Belize already, but it was only one taxi driver like this. I later wrote to the support of that app, Yandex Taxi, and they said, we are sorry, can you share in detail what happened? So I recapped all the conversation and they said, we are sorry, this driver will not come to you anymore. But that's it. I wish they had something like a training for drivers how to not behave with women. At least it wasn't that type of Georgian drivers who drive as crazy, but make this cross when they pass a cathedral. This is another thing about Georgia, really interesting. Anyway, let's not let such driver discourage me from exploring the city. And now we will go to one more place. I've never seen anything like this, just a cut hole in a car. Is it a normal thing for car uh, people to do this? Write in the comments. And look, there the car is just hanging like a wrecking ball. Wow. It is very smoggy in Belize now because the city is located in the mountains and it doesn't get any wind and it is harmful for people with lungs problems and yeah. Dog. Hello. This dog looks like a cow, but it's definitely a dog. What? anything for you no sorry at least this dog is chipped chipped i hope that one day all dogs in the world will find their home but now let's go to one more area of the city i like how in this video i'm showing you the range of different districts of Tbilisi. I've already been to Avabari and now I'm in Vera. I lived in this district in my first months when I came to Tbilisi and I really liked it for these beautiful graffitis. The street art here is very intricate, very fancy cafes. So now I will show you just one street of this district. Let's go. Look at this bird, simple, but cool. And now I will go to a supermarket uh, to buy some household stuff. So first I want to buy some apples and bananas. These seem not worse than others, so let's take this. 
I like that I put sticker just on them. I also need to buy fairy and uh, sponges for washing uh, dishes. I think I'm on the right route. Yes, they are here. Hmm. Apple flavor, orange flavor. Is there anything classic? Anyway, I will take grenades flavor. I already have these, but they are without this special thing, so I'll probably take this rough surface. There are lots of products from Russia with Russian words on it. I wanted to find a big bottle of uh, liquid soap, but they had only little ones, so I will take this. What is unusual about Georgia is that besides half of a liter bottles, they have such little ones. <laughs> they are like for kids. And also, so if this seems little to you, but this one is even smaller. That is so funny because this bottle is actually less than this uh, can, 250, and this is 330. That's funny. I don't know why would they waste plastic that much. That's unusual. Write in the comments, do you have this in your country? But I came here for actually a can of Coke, just a classic one, you know, spoiled myself sometimes with this. By the way, what is your opinion about this coffee Coke? I tried it and for me it is just horrible. I hope it was interesting for you to see the Georgian store. If you would like to see more of this, write in the comments and I will make a whole video about going to a grocery store in Georgia. I actually really enjoy watching such videos myself, for example, about stores in the United States. So why not to make the same about Georgia? I came to a rally for uh, the freedom of Navalny and uh, other political prisoners. Here I met my friend, Zach the Russian, and uh, this protest actually is controversial for many Russians. Some Russian people here in Tbilisi didn't want to go to this protest because it is in support of Navalny. So now I want to ask my friend Zach what is his opinion about this. Well, firstly, this protest, the main purpose of it is to support not only Navalny, but just political prisoners in general. There are more than 400 political prisoners in Russia, and it's really important to support them, because who knows if they wouldn't be jailed in Russia, if there would be a war. Because they were the heads of different human rights activist groups, independent medias who were able to promote free ideas among Russians. But they were all jailed. Yes, Navalny, I get many questions personally to himself. I'm not a big fan of him, but unless he's the biggest oppositionist, we need to support him. Because, you know, once there is a bigger evil in the face of Putin, in the face of war against Ukraine, we need to support another bigger power to fight this big evil. So this is logical, this protest, I think. And also it's really important that, you know, Russians who came to Georgia, who were able to leave, they will come here and they will go to protest to learn how to protest. Once Russia is going to be liberated, once Russia is going to be democratic, and I believe it in this, you know, I know many of you don't. Anyway, uh, once those people are going to be back, they need to have this habit to go protest, to speak out your opinion if you're not agreeing with something. So it's really important just to have this experience, you know. So that's the main purpose why we are here. The main questions I have to Navalny is about his position on Crimea because as far as I know he wants Crimea to be a Russian or something like this. He participated in nationalistic marches in his early career and we have to keep it in mind that we are here today because Navalny is a political prisoner as hundreds of other political prisoners in Russia and that's what my poster is about. Rally news. I 
was recognized by three people, wow, famous, and one girl took a picture of my poster and she gifted me this thing, this nice little bag you can tie to your arm and it is really useful and it was so cute to receive such a gift. Oh my god, I love this little bag. This is just my style. After the demonstration I wanted to buy some tea and found this nice place. It's like a bazaar, but I can't find tea here. They don't have it. Disappointed. Christmas. I found some fancy supermarkets. Soviet scales. I didn't find tea at that place, but then a Georgian man stopped me and said, sorry, you were looking for tea? I said, yes. And then he explained me where I should go to find a cafe with tea. And then he was like, are you from Ukraine? And I said, Russia. And he was like, oh, okay. Um, I wanted to show this poster like, yes, but I've just been at the protest, but no, I didn't do that. And it's funny. I wonder what was this? Did his attitude change? Probably yes, because he doesn't know that I am a so-called good Russian, but this is life. Anyway, he wanted to help me. After the rally, I was really hyped up. Many people, different chants, the fact that three people recognized me and a guy even took a picture of me, the fact that I met Zach and filmed a piece of this video. I was really glad and happy that I visited it. And actually, after the rally, I went to a store in the outskirts of the city. Then I went to a restaurant with my friends. And after that, we went to an intellectual game. It is a trivia kind of thing, but it is a famous Russian game Stokdia Kogda. And it was extremely difficult to play. So our team got the honorable last place among other teams. But anyway, it was really enjoyable and I felt that I'm becoming smarter. And I'm proud of myself that after such a long day, I managed to still be present to talk with people. I live a life of a digital nomad and this is unusual for me to be that sociable. And I feel so relaxed and so confident about my future. I basically don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, I live a comfortable life. I can go to massage. I can buy this delicious coffee. I can travel. Actually, I'm going to Batumi in several days with my friends. And soon I'm going to Uzbekistan. There will be a lot of videos from there. And actually recently we went to Gudauri, a ski resort in Georgia. And my next video will be about this trip. And I don't know, I feel so good so that I think that something should happen, something bad. I think that this is my anxiety because I still probably have not fought it completely. But no, now I'm so grateful for my situation that I have a roof over my head, I have stable income, I have people around me. Yeah, I think it is a good uh, addition to my previous video. I asked you about the name of this bird, of this non-binary pigeon. For some reason, many people recommend me a name Paloma. I've never heard about this, but it has some meaning. And now I want to read some other comments. Spassky the pigeon, Dasha. Daristep, hello. Mira, because Mira means wonder in Roman languages. And in Slavic languages, it means peace. What about Natalia, since you're Natasha? There also was a good variant Georgina or Georgina, because I live in Georgia now and it is a common name. I like it. Soup. Is soup a meal? Borscht. Continuing the topic of soups. Boop. Well, I'm still confused. I think I will leave it for the next time. I should think some more time about it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Write in the comments, do you like such a format? I wish you a wonderful day. Goodbye. Пока-пока. Who are you?